A special thank you to each of our subscribers who make this channel possible. Here's today's story. In a surprising turn of events, the U.S. labor market has shown remarkable resilience as job openings increased to 8 million in August, up from 7.7 .7 million in July. According to the Labor Department, this uptick in vacancies comes as employers in sectors such as construction and state and local government are actively seeking to fill positions. Economists had anticipated job openings to remain stable, making this rise noteworthy. The latest job openings and labor turnover summary, JOLTS, indicates that the number of employment vacancies rose by 330,000, marking the highest level since May. These figures were bolstered by significant gains in the construction sector, which saw an increase of 138,000 openings, and state and local government positions, which rose by 78,000. However, the services sector experienced a decline, with job vacancies dropping by 93,000. Despite the increase in job openings, the number of Americans voluntarily quitting their jobs fell to its lowest level since August 2020, a sign that workers may be feeling less confident about their job prospects. The overall trend indicates a labor market that is neither aggressively hiring nor laying off workers, with layoffs remaining steady at 1.6 million and new hires at 5.3 million. As the Federal Reserve continues to navigate the economic landscape, it has made strategic decisions to combat inflation, which peaked at 9.1% in June 2022 but has since decreased to 2.5% in August. The Fed's actions, including raising interest rates 11 times over the past two years, have contributed to a cooling job market, with hiring averaging just 116,000 net new jobs per month from June through August, the weakest three-month average since mid-2020. Looking ahead, the Labor Department's upcoming jobs report for September is expected to reveal that employers added 143,000 jobs last month, with the unemployment rate holding steady at a low 4.2%. This report will be closely watched by economists and market observers, especially in light of the Fed's recent decision to cut its benchmark interest rate by half a percentage point, the most significant cut since March 2020. The labor market's dynamics are shifting, with more people returning to the workforce and an influx of immigrants contributing to the available labor supply. However, competition for job openings has intensified, with 1.5 job seekers for every available position, presenting a challenging environment for those looking for work. Despite these challenges, experts like Robert Frick from the Navy Federal Credit Union suggest that the rise in job openings may indicate that employers are optimistic about a potential economic rebound spurred by falling interest rates. This perspective reflects a broader sentiment that, while the labor market is experiencing changes, it is not on the brink of collapse. The Federal Reserve's projections indicate a median unemployment rate of 4.4% by the end of this year, suggesting that while the job market is normalizing, it is not expected to deteriorate significantly. Economists anticipate that monthly payroll growth will stabilize around 150,000 jobs by next year. However, consumer confidence appears to be waning, as evidenced by the Conference Board's Consumer Confidence Index, which saw its sharpest decline since August 2021. Concerns regarding the labor market and future business conditions have led consumers to adopt a more pessimistic view. As we continue to monitor these developments, it is crucial to keep a close eye on labor market dynamics, as they may signal broader economic trends. The resilience of the labor market, coupled with changes in consumer sentiment, will play a pivotal role in shaping the economic landscape in the months to come. That's all for this story. We upload videos every day covering many different subjects, so hit that subscribe button to stay informed. Thanks for watching.